listen, but listen, what you're not going to do, Pastor, is what you're saying contradicts what we just read. You told me I can't What you just said, no, I didn't say you could not jump. Yeah, I did. You don't understand the Bible because if that scripture means we do not do the commandments no more, what does that other scripture mean? That would mean he's contradicting the Bible. Y'all go to church? But y'all go sometimes. I do. All right. Now, what day do you go to church on? Is it Saturday, Sunday, Monday? Saturday? Sunday. So, you're a pastor. What if she was in your congregation and you knew the fourth commandment? What is your job? I'm to educate her that, uh, that actually the Sabbath day, according to the, Bible. the, Jewish, the Jewish calendar. The Jewish, the Bible, God. Bible. <laughs> Go ahead. It's on Saturday. It's Saturday. Yeah. So what day should we really be gathering? It should be Saturday. Now why don't we do that? If you can say that it's Thursday, why don't we do that? Uh, mostly because of Christ. Because of who? Jesus Christ. Why you say that because of Christ? Because Christ, uh, he ended the law. He ended the law? Yeah, he excelled it, so he made the magnified. So when you magnify something, don't they mean you make it greater? So if you made it greater, did he change anything? Uh, he changed it, but he didn't change it. Wait, I don't, I'm confused. Help me and help my sister right here. You a mother, right? Help, I'm a father. She's a, she's a mother. Help us. Help us. Instead of being Prove it to, can you prove it to us? Nothing. The first commandment is do not have no other God above the Most High. The second commandment, yep, do not bow, it says do not bow down to those images. Uh -huh. Third, com third commandment. Uh, and we should not take his name in vain. And the fourth commandment is thou shalt not break the Sabbath. So if somebody breaks the Sabbath day, didn't they just break all the first three? Yes. So I have a... So, so I'm going to read a scripture to help you. Listen up. Because I'm going to ask you a question about this scripture. Give me Matthew chapter 15. Or is it 5? 5. 5 and 17. Let's get that. Read that. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. And this is Christ speaking. It's written in red. Read. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. What did that say? Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So did Christ come to destroy the law? No. Because he said he didn't, but you said he did. No, no. He didn't come to destroy, but he, he didn't end the law. Watch this. I'm going to show you which law he ended, okay? And like I said, you should take this back to your congregation when you, when you get it. Read. For verily I say unto you. That means surely Christ say unto you. Read. Till heaven and earth pass, one dot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. So what does that mean, Pastor? It's still in place. So is the Sabbath still in place according to what Christ just wrote? So is the Sabbath on the Sabbath day according to the Bible? Because nowhere in the Bible do you find that it's on any other day. 
So now, the Sabbath day, there are certain laws we got to keep on the Sabbath day. Right. What are they? So the Sabbath is every day. But what law, if, if the Sabbath is to be kept on every day, yes. that means you can't cook every day. That means you can't work every day. So that would mean the Sabbath is not every day then because there's laws, because the Sabbath is separate from the rest of the week, right? right. It's holy. So that means it's separate. If you read, if you read, it says that do all things for the Lord. So in other words, uh -huh. Jesus magnified it so that every day you have you cannot work for yourself. You can't work for yourself every day. You cannot eat for yourself. What scripture? Uh, it says uh, because we can't work or eat for ourselves. Look at look at. Uh, Matthew you say we got We could do all things through Christ strengthen us. That what chapter seven. What is it? Verse 1. Uh, chapter 7, verse 22. Somebody give him a Bible so you can see it, so he can look at it himself. You got that? I'm, I'm, I want to know. I'll have my phone with me. Yeah, let him look at it. So we're going to read the scripture again for you. Watch this. Read that verse again. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Now what usually happens right there, they close the Bible. Pastors don't finish that. Because have you ever heard that in the Bible before? You, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? You 31 years old and no one's read to you that Christ said, I did not come to destroy the law. But aren't we taught every day that the laws are done away with? That's what they say. But Christ said, no, it's not. Watch this, read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. That is the smallest punctuation shall not pass from the laws of God. So the Sabbath day is a whole commandment. It ain't just a small punctuation. It's a whole line, multiple lines, matter of fact. God says it's not to be done away with. Read on. Till all be fulfilled. Has Christ come back yet? So all ain't been fulfilled. Read on. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. So if you break the least commandments, like shaving your beard, a woman ain't supposed to wear pants. These are least commandments, but they're easy. You just didn't know. Read. And shall teach men so. And you teach people that the laws of God are done away with. If you teach that, read. He shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. Now that said he shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. That means you ain't getting in. Every pastor that says the laws are done away with ain't getting into the kingdom. We're going to prove that that's what that means. Read on. But whosoever shall do and teach them. But if you do the commandments and you teach the commandments, read. Shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Read on. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Because the Pharisees talked the good game but did not do. You leaving, Pastor? He could not find your, your scripture? He need his Bible? He going to get it? You use a different version? We use the King James Version. That's all right. So it says that if our righteousness don't excel the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, because the scribes and Pharisees told the people to do things according to the law and didn't do them themselves. So how does a pastor tell you to do what God say and he won't do it himself? Bring it up. How? God says that person ain't getting in because the scribes and Pharisees ain't getting in. Hypocrites ain't getting in. That's the Bible that's written in red, that's what Christ said. So who are we to tell Christ that's not what he meant? When he made it plain. Now, what law did he do away with? Let's get that in Hebrews. We'll read the law that he actually did away with. Yes, he told us not to do it no more. But that's the only thing he said not to do. Saturday is not included. Read. Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 4. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls or of goats should take away sin. Because we used to have to sacrifice for our sins. We don't have to go over there. We can't go to Jerusalem and sacrifice at the temple today, can you? Can you? I can't. I can't afford it. I can't afford it. Got a passport and can't go. 
But this says that God did that, that not without, what, read it again from the top, I don't, I'm going to get tongue twisted, here we go. For it is not possible, it's not possible, read, that the blood of bulls and of goats uh -huh. should take away sin. So your sins are not taken away by blood of bulls and goats no more, because that was the sin offering. Read. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, when Christ come, when he came into the world, read, he saith, sacrifice and offering, thou wouldest not. Don't do that no more. Don't sacrifice no more for your sins. Read on. But a body hast thou prepared me. Because Christ's body was prepared to be that sacrifice now. Right. So now we must have faith in Christ. Right. Read on. In burnt offerings uh, and sacrifices. For sin thou hast had no pleasure. Because he had no pleasure. Now, let's go to Revelation 14, 12. 12, 14. Let's read. Because we all, we all in church, they say you got to have faith in Christ. You got to have faith in Christ. If, if your kids want to be doctors, if they believe they're going to be doctors, what do they have to do to become doctors? Can they just believe it in the heaven? What they got? They got to do, they got to do something. They got to put the work in. So if I believe on Christ, I got to do something. I have to put the work in. I have to keep the commandments. Read. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Here is what the saints are waiting on. Read. Here are they that keep the commandments of Here God. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. This is the king. You're reading about who's going to get that crown in the kingdom. They that keep the commandments of God and what? And the faith of Jesus. you got to do both. There is no way, Pastor, there's no way that we can go to church on Sunday and then turn around and say we believe in Christ. According to God, you just read that out the Bible. I didn't make it up. All I did was read. So if anybody says anything different to you, sis, they're lying. And pastor, you must stop lying. We love you and I want you to take this information back because your congregation is probably filled full of people that look like us. And I got a question for your sister. Can I ask you, can I ask you all a question? Watch this. Let me slide over here. Who is that? My sir right here. Who is that right there? Uh, some white guy. Uh -huh. Who is this, sis? Who was you thought it was? Oh, oh, okay. Let me, can I ask your son? Oh, your nephew? Right here, right here. Who is this, y'all? Young man right here, who is this? I don't know. How old is he? How old is he? Okay, so y'all young, but at the same time, y'all you seven. So the seven-year-old, you the big brother, right? All right, here we go. Who is this? Don't tell him what to say. Who is this? Who is that? Is this scary to you? It's not all oh, praises, because he looked like you. So, Pastor, who is this over here? Okay, and who is this? What depiction is this then? That's the depiction which we think. Who's the we? Most black people actually don't, actually most black people don't think that's what they look like. Exactly. And where do they learn that at? In America and where? Where's the doctrine of him taught? In the churches. Because what day did our slave masters give us off in slavery? What day did they give us off in slavery? Sunday. Sunday. Now we do it as a tradition. Look at Romans. Here we go. Let's go to Romans. I like Romans. Romans what now? Romans 10 and 4. Let's look at it. So what are we going here for? One more time. Are you getting a haircut? So you, you gonna buy that haircut today? Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Nehemiah 1031. I'm going to show you something. That's why the Sabbath is holy. You cannot do the Sabbath every day. 
because the Sabbath is holy, meaning it's separate. It's not like every other day, meaning there's stuff you can and cannot do on the Sabbath that you can't do on the other days, or you don't have to. Watch this, read. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So if anybody sells us anything on the Sabbath, victuals is stuff for purchase. Read. That we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. We can't buy nor sell on the Sabbath day. You wonder why people don't got enough? You wanna know why our pockets are like bags with holes in it? It's because we don't apply that. We work on the Sabbath and don't get nothing extra for it. We think we do. We think we do. We'll go buy something on the Sabbath and then wonder why it ain't working out for us. Why we got a, why our pockets got big holes in them. Money just gone. Because we don't apply what God said. That's a curse. But if that was every day, could you possibly do that? Don't you got to shop for food? So can you keep that every day? You would die. So that would mean when people say that every day is Sabbath day, you a liar. You are a liar. Now let's get what else we ain't supposed to do. Exodus right fast. Just so y'all know, the Sabbath cannot possibly be every day. Because every pastor that says it is not doing it according to God. Because God said the seventh day is Sabbath. So for you to then turn around and say, well, every day is the Sabbath. You can worship him every day, yes. But how do you worship God? How do you do it? How do you worship God, sis? Say what now? Meditate, talk, and pray. Now, what does that mean? To yourself. So I got a question. If a sister that sleeps around and never gets married and sleeps around with multiple men, does she worship God ever? No, no, no. Does she? Not think. Does she, according to God, is she actually worshiping him? Exactly. That's a no. But we tell ourselves, I worship God while we all in the midst of sin and don't stop. That's just, we can't say we worship God and don't do what he said. Just like they can't say they love you and don't obey what you say. That's right. That's, an, that's what God says love is. But we oh. think love is making everybody feel good. That's why I told the pastor what he said is a lie. Because I love him. Because it's the truth. Now that doesn't mean he cannot repent. He can repent and fix it and start to teach it the right way. Absolutely. That's what we want. That's what we expect. That's what I expect from him. If he don't do it, then he's going to die. He's not getting the kingdom of heaven. I know it. Because that's what God said. So whenever we say we worship God in meditation, meditate and do what with the meditation. Joshua 1 and 6. Let's see what the meditation is. Read that when you get it. Read. Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. You should meditate in it day and night. So in order for you to meditate in a book of the law, you got to read it. That's right. A pastor can't tell you what it says. You got to read it for yourself. You ever notice in churches, the only ones that know what, what, what to teach is the pastors? But I could put another brother right here, right now, and they can do the exact same thing I'm doing. We can do what our bishops taught us to do. That's why we can go anywhere with the Bible and stand here. But everybody in the churches can't come out here and go through the Bible with us. He's a pastor. He didn't even know where his script was. And that's not a knock on him to beat him up. That is a knock like, listen. No, we're going to go. We're going to go. But he, no, we're going to go. Trust me. I'm just trying to give her the laws on the Sabbath. Read. That thou may observe to do. Wait, wait, wait. Observe and what? To do. So you have to do. So when you meditate on the laws, you have to do them. So the Sabbath day is a law. Do it. Do it. Don't break the Sabbath. Keep it holy. First, it says remember because you done forgot because ain't no pastor taught it to you. But he knew it, what it said, but he ain't teaching how to do it. Read on. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then we wonder why we are not prosperous. God said the only way we're going to get prosperous is keep his commandments. We like, to, we like to think we're going to get prosperous out here breaking the Sabbath, working on the Sabbath. God said it ain't happening. That's why most black businesses close in two years. 
Over 80% of black businesses do not make two years. And we wonder why that's the case. That's because God got his hand on us. Just like a father would. He punishes his, father, his children. That's what we get it. Because we didn't do what he said. Is that it? Read on. And then thou shalt have good success. Then you will have good success when you do what God says. Read that where you go. Other law. And then, we'll, then I'm going to go to his scripture because I do want to get on. We ain't running from it. Just want to make sure before you leave, you understand what you're doing. Exodus chapter 31, verse 14. We shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. It's holy unto you, you so called blacks and Spanish neighborhood. You're the real Jew, sis. That's right. You're the Jew because our ancestors came over on slave ships. That's in the Bible. No one can disprove that. The only people that ever went into slavery like this is me and your people. And it's in the Bible that the real Jews would go through. So for a pastor to say we Gentiles, for the pastor to say that we're the Greeks in the Bible, we are the Greeks, but those Greeks in the Bible were Jews. They were not the Grecians, the white people that forced us to call ourselves Greeks. They don't teach that to our children. They don't teach that to our mother. They don't teach it to our fathers either. That's why we grow up, we think we're less than who we really are. We're the real Jews. We're the real children of God. You want to be a princess to him? Then do what he said. Because he does not only hate the sin, he hates the sinner too. But Good. Everyone that they find it shall surely be put to death. Everyone that breaks the Sabbath shall surely die. Read. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Yeah, it is. Be cut off. That's it. Read on down. No, read on down. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. So we're not supposed to work. Six days you work, but the seventh day of the week, which is today, no working. So that brother that's finna cut their hair is working. You finna buy it, you finna sin. Everybody jacked up. Everybody jacked up. And we don't understand what we're doing to our community when all we gotta do is chill for one day and do what God said. We act like we can't do that. Ain't it joyful? Don't you wanna sit down and rest? But we don't take God's rest that he gave to us. We take our own instead of doing what God said. Read on, watch this. Whosoever doeth any work in the seventh day, he shall surely be put to death. Read. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath uh -huh. to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations. Wait, wait, throughout the generations, are we still making babies? Are we still making babies? So throughout the generations being forever. So why in the world would anybody say the Sabbath is done away with when Christ and God says the same thing? It's forever. Right. It ain't going nowhere. It don't make sense we kept the Sabbath back then. Then today in the last days, we're not going to keep the Sabbath. And then in the kingdom, we're going to keep the Sabbath again. That's confusion. And our pastors are not telling us the truth. That does not make sense. Read on. For a perpetual covenant. It's an everlasting covenant. Read. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For how long? Forever. So a sign that we are the children of God is to keep the Sabbath. You understand me? Is that it? You got some more? All right, finish that out. Then we're going to go to Rome. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. There it is. So even God kept the Sabbath day. And he gave it to us to do the same. But we choose not to. But then we'll say, that's my father. Like father, like son. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. We ain't like that. We like, no, Father, whatever you did, I'm going to do me, but you still going to give me the kingdom of heaven. God says he doesn't know you when you break the Sabbath. You're not his child. Let's go to Romans where he said 10 and 4. Read that. Romans chapter 10 and verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Now, you hear that? Christ is the end of the law. But didn't Christ say he didn't do away with the law? So which law is he talking about? Read on down. No, no, no. We're going to stay right there in the same chapter. I'm going to tell you what law. Which, which law? Huh? Which law? He did away with the Ten Commandments. Huh? You go, you go, the Ten Commandments? Go, go to Hebrews chapter... Wait, wait. Chapter you said eight. Christ... No, we ain't done with Romans. We're going to stay right here. No, we're going he to go to Hebrews. No, but we're going to watch, watch us read down. Which law? Watch, pastor, pastor, watch us, watch us read down. We read. 
We don't take what you say and just run with it no more. Yes, That's right. not what the community's doing no more. Yes, right. That's why the young men don't go into churches now. Yes, but they know they're being lied to. That's why young Verse women five. don't. Now, read on. Verse 5. For Moses, he scribed the righteousness, which is of the law. What righteousness was Moses talking about? He was talking about the Ten Commandments. What did, huh? What did Moses give us to do? When, what did we, whenever, sis, we read it earlier. Whenever we sin, what do we have to when, do under Moses? Who brought the Ten Commandments down from the mountain? Whenever who we brought sin, the Ten Commandments from the Moses did. They, now, whenever we sin, what do we have to do? Where's the scripture at in Romans? I think it's two chapters back where it actually lists the commandments in Romans. Oh, no, 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 we're good. We're going to read this. We're going to keep, we're going to keep reading. Watch this. But the righteousness, which is of faith, speaking from this word. Jump up to verse one, then we're going to jump down because remember, because they say, no, we are, we are, pastor, because you don't know the Bible. I'm trying, I was trying, I'm trying to deal with you calmly, but we will embarrass you out here and make you really look bad out here. Read that. Verse one, brother, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is. Wait, 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 who is God talking to again? He's talking to Israel. Now, is everybody an Israelite? He's talking to Is everybody an Israelite? He's talking to the black people. Is everybody an Israelite? He's talking to the no. black people. No, all praises. So that means that everybody, this is not to them, man, all right? So that would mean the kingdom of heaven, this is not for he's everybody either. Read right. right. on. That on. they might be saved. Uh-huh, now, let's jump back down there, where he was at. Uh-huh. Verse 6. But the righteousness, which is of faith, speaking upon this wise, uh -huh. say not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven, uh -huh. that is, to bring Christ down from above. Now, so it said, don't say not, who shall ascend into heaven, to bring Christ from, down, from uh, above. Read on. Or, who shall descend, descend into the deep, that is, Let's to, uh -huh. to bring up Christ again from the dead. Now, read now, verse 3. Verse 3. Uh -huh. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness. And that's what has happened. Our people are ignorant of his righteousness. Read on. And going about to establish their own righteousness. Their own righteousness. Read on. Have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Now read verse 4 again. Verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law. Which law did we read Christ ended? It, 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 which law did we read that Christ ended? It didn't say the which law. Did, 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 was it the law of sacrifice law. separate from all the other commandments? The law is the Ten Commandments. What is what? the law? What is the law? The laws of God, the commandments and the, the sacrifices. The you got the sacrifices. That is the law of God. So I, no, was the sac did he say the sacrifices was over? Look at Hebrews chapter 7. You know what I'm looking for? Romans 13 and Thank 8. Thank you. That's what I want. Thank you. Watch this, 13 and 8, Romans 13 and 8. Because if the laws are done away with, then why is this said? Read that. Romans. We're in the same book of Romans. Understand. Romans chapter 13 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Owe no man anything uh -huh. but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. How do you love one another? Read on. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. If the Ten Commandments are done away with, what are we reading? Is thou shalt not steal a Ten Commandment. Is thou shalt not kill a Ten Commandment. Read on. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, uh -huh. it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, that thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There it is. Now, go to Romans 3.31. Watch no, this. No, stand that, stand that, we just going to read all the laws stand right here in Romans. Stand that, stand that, read that again. Read no, but listen. Read but listen. Read what you're not going to do, read Pastor, is what read you're read saying read contradicts you what we just read. Off. You told me I can't jump. What you just you said. Jump. No, I didn't say you could not jump. Yeah, I did. You I don't understand the Bible because if that scripture means we do not do the commandment, no 13. more. Go what did that 13. other scripture Go mean? That would mean 13. he's contradicting the Bible. No, now watch this 13. in 31. Read. Romans chapter 3 verse 31. We're still in Romans again. No, no do we then three. make void the law through faith? Do we then make void the law through faith? So do you then stop keeping the laws because you have faith? Watch this. Jeez. God forbid. No, you don't read. Yay. We establish the law. But we are to establish it. To establish something, you do it. Right. So no, we are not supposed to do animal sacrifice. That's what Christ said he did away with. Don't bring no more sacrifices. I didn't hear the word sacrifice. But but oh oh wow. That means he didn't listen to what we read. So he wasn't listening. Because he said in Hebrew. I'm trying to tell you. He said it in Hebrew. Did we not read it in Hebrew? 13. What 13 and what? 
That's what you read in 13. You should 13 and what? You didn't know Romans? In Romans chapter 13, and, and it's going one way. And then, then you changed over. No, you it's the same thing because, because you said we're not supposed to keep the Ten Commandments. My sister, watch 13? this, Pastor. Listen, 13? watch the people. Okay. You heard for the people. Yeah. Did he say we're not supposed to keep the Ten Commandments? Is thou shalt not kill one of the Ten Commandments? Are we supposed to keep it according to him? Yeah. But what about we the Bible? We are supposed to keep the Ten Commandments. Whoa, wait, huh? You read You're seven kidding seven. me. Are you trying to put You're words absolutely in my mouth? kidding me. Are you trying to put words in my mouth? No, you putting peace to himself. Commandments. My brother right here. Let me ask him. Let me ask him. Thank you. No, no, no. Come on. Chapter 10, Come chapter on. Chapter even even the brothers and the sisters are out here telling you that you are a liar, that you're a hypocrite. Yes, I'm going to talk because you teach on Sunday and lie on Sunday. Because are you supposed to beat her on Sunday instead of the Sabbath? Yes or no? Yes. But you are? Yes. Let's get that word Christ kept the Sabbath day. Watch this. Why, and it ain't every day because then she would never be able to buy a shop. Uh, Luke chapter 4, 4, 16. Let's get it. Luke chapter, watch this. Are we supposed to be Christ-like? Are we supposed to be Christ-like? Watch this. Read. Luke chapter 4 and verse 16. 16. Because he said that we're not supposed to keep the Ten Commandments, but the Ten Commandments was there. Now, are we supposed to be like Christ? I said that we Christ came to fulfill the law. No, he came to fulfill the law of sacrifice. That's right. That's in the Bible plain. It does not tell you not to keep the Sabbath. Nowhere in the Bible. Go back to your Nowhere in the Bible. Read that. Watch. Let's see what Christ did himself. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was. Something he did all the time. That's a custom. Read. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. And what did he do on the Sabbath? And stood up for to read. So they was having the congregation meet on the Sabbath day. Christ was in their den. Now, let's go to Peter's, and we got to be like Christ. Chapter 1, verse 20, eh? Yes, sir. 21. So it says we're supposed to follow Christ. Let's see what, then we read what, when did Christ go in there on the congregation? Oh, we're going to go to Hebrews. We're going to go to Hebrews 10. Sure is. Uh, yeah, 1 and 21. 1 Peter 2, 21. 2, 21. Sorry. Here we go. Watch this. Watch, let's see, let's see if we're supposed to do what Christ said. Read. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. Read up! For even here unto where he called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example. So Christ left us an example. Read. That he should follow. No, nope, that we don't have to follow because we just read Christ went in the synagogue. He gathered with his people on the Sabbath day. Read on that. He was not, we're not supposed to follow that. Is that what that says? Read that again. That he should follow. That we should follow. Right. Because everything he's saying is a contradiction to what Christ said then. That would mean we cannot read the Bible and we cannot follow it. That's what he's saying. But everything I've said lines up straight line. Why does his all of a sudden come that? off? We don't have that? to. You said it. No, that is a lie. Are we supposed to do that what Christ said? Are we supposed yeah. to do what Christ do? Yeah, no. What? what? You can't be perfect. You cannot be perfect. Are we supposed to strive for it? We're supposed to strive. Thank you. But so if, so if it's something that you can do, are you supposed to? What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 